Hey guys, about a year ago I started to hear a lot of buzz about chia seed pudding and I was really curious and decided to try a recipe which I absolutely hated. But fast forward a year, I was getting a smoothie and happened to see chia seed pudding at the store and I picked it up and I've become obsessed with it. So I recreated that recipe and I'm gonna share it with you guys today. I'm Meg and I'm passionate about finding ways to make life with kids easier in the kitchen. So let's talk about what you'll need for your pudding. You'll need almond milk and chia seeds, honey, vanilla extract, and cinnamon, and for toppings, chopped almonds and coconut. I have my almond milk in a jar. If you guys haven't checked out my recipe for homemade almond milk, I encourage you to do so because it will really increase the quality of this pudding. So here's my almond milk. I'm gonna add to it my chia seeds. I'm gonna add a little bit of vanilla. If you're using a vanilla almond milk, you won't need as much of this. And then I'm gonna add my honey. If you're using a sweet almond milk, you don't need as much, but I'm gonna use about a tablespoon today. Okay, and finally, a little sprinkle of cinnamon. I love the flavor, you can leave it out if you don't like it. And then what I'm gonna do is put my top on my mason jar and give it a quick shake. Okay, now most recipes will say you can just put it in your refrigerator at this point, but I find that little clumps form of the chia seeds if you don't use a whisk to actually distribute them. All right, once it's whisked, I'm gonna put my top back on and then it goes into my refrigerator overnight. I have one of my chia seed puddings that's been refrigerated overnight and I'm gonna turn it out into a bowl so you guys can see what the texture is like. Most of the liquid has been absorbed and it's become a lot thicker and more pudding-like. So all that's left to do is top it. Today I'm gonna to use some roasted and chopped almonds sprinkled right on top and a little bit of coconut. This has actually become one of my go-to breakfasts. I love that you can change the flavor by adding raspberries, strawberries, any kind of fruit and makes a delicious breakfast. So there you have it, chia seed pudding. I love this recipe. My kids, however, had mixed feelings on the texture, so I'm curious to know what your kids think. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys next time, bye. Cheetah pudding? Yeah. I like that too.